Welcome back to the channel, my YouTube family, and welcome back to the discussion on what we want to see in our next Fallout or Fallout 5. I hope everybody is doing well today, and what I thought I'd do today is I'm going to dedicate the whole episode to talking about weapons, weapon uh, types, mechanics, all kinds of stuff, upgrading, repairing, you name it. We're going to talk about the weapon system in Fallout and um, suggest some tweaks possibly and then hear your point of view on it. Should be good. Let's do it. When you think about the um, weapon system in Fallout, there are two distinct types of systems in play. There is a system that we saw in um, Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And then there are the newer ones from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. And I'm going to split them off today because they are distinctly different. And there certainly is an evolution in the weapon system um, in Fallout. And don't forget Bethesda's first attempt at having ballistic weapons and energy weapons. Anything outside melee was actually Fallout 3. So they've come a long way in a very short period of time. And to be honest, the weapon systems that we have today in Fallout 4 and 76 are pretty, pretty good. Um, good they're pretty robust but as ever with anything there's always a point of view to be had there's always some improvements to be had and that's what we're going to talk about today i'm going to share some ideas that i personally have and i'm sure that the community out there has lots and lots of ideas what they'd like to see in a weapon system for fallout 5. So I've got to say, the weapon system in Fallout 4 was a huge upgrade to what we'd had in previous games. They did dabble a little bit in Fallout New Vegas with attachments, but uh, the development team really came into their own in Fallout 4 and then consequently into Fallout 76 with the system that they gave us. Suddenly we could... Um, we could upgrade our weapons to the wazoo. There was all kinds of attachments and attachment combinations that you could use. And there was it was very well integrated into the skill tree with things like uh, Gun Nut and Gun Slayer, Slinger. And um, yeah, there was a, a much wider scope of um, opportunities for you to play around with. And also, we pretty much got a whole lot of... Um, upgraded or new weapons to play with in Fallout 4 um, the varmint rifle and the cowboy repeat and all those kind of staples have, have gone now and have been replaced by things like the combat rifle and the assault rifle and whatnot. So I think they've stayed true to the, the franchise but they have certainly upped the game when it came to 4 and uh, into 76 and pretty much we will be focusing a lot on um, those two games today. I, th I don't think that we'll see a return to the game, the um, weapon system from um, the previous games. I think it, it's got to progress forward from here and um, I've got a whole lot of ideas how that can be improved. So I think where I'd like to start is I'd like to start with weapon categories and what we actually have available to us as far as weapons and what categories they kind of fall into now i've put together a, a kind of very easy table to allow us to track this this is not perfect because we have got some quite unique weapons in fallout and this is specifically looking at fallout 4 as a guide and um, but we have got those these unique weapons like um, the thirst zapper for instance or the gauze rifle or the gamma gun and there, there's just there's a number of these kind of unique weapons that sort of fit in within these categories but sort of sit outside them or somewhere in the middle so um this is this is just a guide for you for discussion uh, of what we currently have in the game and um, then we will talk about kind of some of the properties of the weapons and maybe some of the gaps that I personally see as far as the uh, the weapons that Fallout 4 and 76 offer currently and um, then some suggestions on what they could do to improve it. So here we go, this is what I've come up with and I've put it into three categories here. You can see ballistic, energy and melee and um, obviously as I said there are some things that kind of sort of fit here, sort of don't. But it, it does give you a good um, overview of what we're dealing with, what we can expect for the future I guess and then um, a discussion on 
potentially what we could add to this mix. So the ballistics uh, weapons are really weapons that use ammunition. You know, the, the 9mm, the 10mm, the 45, the 44, 5.56, 5, whatever. You know, that, that kind of standard ammunition types that we're used to. Um, and you can see there's... it. it the game is heavily um, influenced by those ballistic weapons like so your combat rifle, your combat shotgun, your assault rifle, your 10mm pistol, etc. Then we move into energy weapons, and that's laser, uh, plasma, I guess, gamma would be in there as well, whatever. Um, and you can see, there, compared to ballistics, there isn't a huge amount of um, options there, which I was kind of surprised, and even... You know, I've put a, a energy um, weapon sniper in there, but essentially it's just a modified rifle. So yeah, it, it's really pistols and rifles. If there's if there's things that I've missed here, please please feel free to let me know down below. But um, as far as the, the weapons that I I went back to my collection of weapons that I had and went through them all just to try and figure out um, what was available. But yeah, even though we do have those energy weapons in the game, there isn't a huge selection as far as different weapon categories go and then of course the melee we weapons that uh, you know are categorized as fast medium and slow and um, we just put heavy medium and light but it, it's the same thing essentially now if i go through ballistics pistols plenty of pistols rifles yeah there's a few rifles there isn't a huge amount of selection of rifles SMGs, there's virtually nothing. There's the submachine gun, and yeah, that's about it. Um, shotguns, there's a few shotguns around. The combat shotgun, I guess, uh, is the main one. You get the 50 cal sniper, of course, but you can adapt some of the rifles into a sniper. Then you have the kind of launchers and your fatmans and all that kind of stuff. And then, the, then you have the heavy weapons, which is like the mini guns and flamers and stuff like that. So. Quite a good range there, but I actually feel there's a lot of gaps, a lot of gaps and a lot of improvements even in the ballistics weapons. Like I said, the, the rifle category isn't huge, um, the sniper rifle category isn't huge, and I'd just like to see a little bit more kind of um, variety um in these different weapon categories, there isn't a lot of good SMGs. And I can tell you, having played the Fallout Miami mod, and if you haven't picked that mod up yet, you should. Uh, having played that mod with a essentially what is a newsie, which is called the Wild Goose. Huge amount of fun. And again, I've done just done a, a review on the 12.7mm uh, submachine gun from Fallout New Vegas, which is available via mod in Fallout 4. Again, huge amount of fun if you want to get up close and personal with enemies. And uh, yeah, I think that is a category they really need to maybe add a few more in. The rifle category, I'd like to see more modern rifles in there. I'd like to see your M4s. I'd like to see your SCARs. I'd like to see more modern guns in the game overall, to be honest. Because what I find is that, that even though they have got a huge variety of weapons in the game uh, you tend to move towards the same guns all the time at least i do high damage guns and therefore you know we, you miss out on some playing experiences i think because there's not a huge deal of um selection if i'm wrong or you disagree with me please leave comments down below how you play the game. I think the energy weapon, I must admit, I'm not really a big energy weapon player, so I can't speak to that much. Um, I just found the energy weapons, for me personally, were a little bit weak and just didn't play, suit my playstyle. I know a lot of you enjoy them, and um, I would be fascinated to hear your insights on why you like them and where you see the gaps and what could be added. Um, I don't know why there's not an energy shotgun. That could be kind of fun. I guess the ghost rifle sort of that fills that gap to, to a degree. And then the melee weapons, I think, are balanced pretty nicely. There is a, a, a good variety of different melee weapons. What I did see going through my, my personal collection is it, it's pretty much either that heavy or slow 
type of melee weapon or that medium. There wasn't a lot of light, fast weapons in that I had in my collection at least. So I think there maybe needs a little a bit of balance there. And then if you want to categorize the weapons on how they handle and their the, the mechanics, you're pretty much looking at a low damage, high fire rate, um, which is pretty much an SMG would fall into that category. Um, and maybe because you have a low damage, you get a faster reload. And then you have the higher fire rate, low, uh, sorry, high damage, low fire rate, slow reload and you know a sniper a 50 cal sniper rifle for instance would fall into that category and then the last one damage weight and speed is really a bit melee weapons um you get higher damage but the thing is a little bit heavier so it, it's slower um to be able to swing at people and so there's there's you know there's always that kind of um compromise that you have to make um as opposed to say something that is is a fast melee weapon but doesn't do as much damage it's always that compromise and i think and all of those three kind of properties of weapons i mean they're not absolute there's there they, these are kind of the starting point and there's, there's kind of everything in between but i think they from that point of view how they the weapons work and the properties they have bethesda have got that pretty well balanced to the weapons they give us so of course if you want to then manipulate a base gun to kind of your play style um, you know within that kind of within that framework of a uh, low damage high fire rate high damage low fire rate whatever you can do that with the workbenches fairly successfully and we are offered quite a bit of uh, flexibility in how we want to set up the gun but I'm greedy I like my ballistic weapons I like my weapons I'd like to see a lot more uh, flexibility with um, how the guns are upgraded and uh, what I can do with them and I want you know I want to be able to uh, take a weapon and make make it un unique I saw in the the weapons mod that I just uh, played with the 12.7 millimeter SMG that even though you've got that base gun there are so many variations of that one gun that you can make it is just crazy and a lot of fun to experiment with and I, I really want to see that happening with the new game and I do have a fairly crazy suggestion that I'm going to share with you now on um, on attachments for your weapon and how that could be a little bit differently approached and quite a bit of fun. So to uh, get my point across here, I'm going to share some footage from another game called Generation Zero. So a lot of the community members know this game um, because I've played it on my channel and a lot have played it. And their system um, for attachments for weapons is quite different because they've gone down the route of making you search out your attachments and you've got to find them in the environment before uh, before you can upgrade your gun and then within each attachment attachment say it's a scope then there are different levels of scopes and um, going from a common scope right up to a legendary scope just for the ease of explanation and so you're not just given attachments through your choices in a skill tree you've got to actually go out and find them in on the map and that's the only way that you are actually going to be able uh, to upgrade your gun now for fallout i think um, maybe there's some base upgrades and then uh, or base attachments that you get on each gun and then beyond that you have to go out and loot uh, those attachments or better attachments or better levels of attachments depending on what you're looking for for each gun and uh, there is still that integration into the skill tree you still have to have something like a gun nut or a gunslinger or a gunsmith or whatever and you still have to look around for resources like screws and adhesive and, and, and aluminium and etc to be able to add that to the gun but i think it would give looting much more of a um, purpose and it would make it 
the the game very very interesting so i'm really um i'm really interested to hear what you think about that kind of approach to the weapon system one of the things that i think is lacking in the weapon system for me personally is is good scopes for the weapons uh, i think they could do a much better job uh, um, offering you scopes but even in generation zero even when you get a good scope um if it's a lower level then it, it the, the scope's cracked and it's not as clear as a higher level one and i think that could be a very interesting thing to have in fallout because it kind of fits with the the way that fallout is that if you are having to find up um attachments in the environment and on the map then it would make sense that some of them may be slightly broken but that's the best you have and so that's what you use until you can find a better one or you can repair that that scope for instance and uh, and upgrade it and and come up with a better version of it really interested to hear what you would how you feel about that kind of system being implemented in fallout 5. so now i want to move on to legendary weapons and you know if you play Fallout 4 um, for long enough, you get this accumulation of legendary weapons. Now, legendary weapons are uh, kind of unique versions of standard weapons with generally a special ability, something like, um, you know, you'll be able to um, cause 20% more damage to a ghoul or something like that. They usually have a unique ability attached to them but that ability is very very specific and so you know you you get all these legendary weapons and you generally what happens at least from my point of view is the legendary weapons um i don't want to get rid of them i might need them at some point um although when i'm going to use a legendary golf club i don't know but you know i want to keep them the legendary weapons and so there's this whole thing that goes on your brain about fact that they are legendaries and you've worked fairly hard for them and they have unique properties and you never know and it, it basically what happens is you just accumulate all this these weapons and never use any of them or most of them and it's always kind of bothered me that it it, it really because you are able to get so many of them in fallout 4 it really doesn't mean that much um, and so they're they're is there a better way of approaching legendary weapons? Now, the system that I've just described where potentially you'd have levels of attachments means that you could um, potentially uh, take a, a, a normal gun and make it a legendary weapon. And so if that was to happen, then what would happen to legendary weapons? Well, in 76, they've, they've sort of started to address this where... Um, where you're able to add abilities to your guns, um, three levels of abilities to your guns, mostly with legendary weapons, but I believe you can probably do that with, with standard weapons. So they've already started to work on that, and for every level of um, that you go up beyond the, the, the kind of standard legendary, then you get maybe the ability to have a... Um, incendiary ability or you know whatever and that builds but that is totally totally random of um, when you upgrade what you're actually going to get so i'm just wondering whether we uh, replace our legendaries with unique weapons call them unique weapons we have a system in place where with legendary weapons you can basically uh, depending on the attachments that you find you can actually upgrade your standard say 10 mil pistol to a legendary and then in the uh, commonwealth will be a number of blueprints that have very specific um traits on them so for instance you know it will give 50 percent more damage to limbs or uh, you know it's more useful it will give you more damage at night time or whatever that might be and you're able to find these blueprints around dotted around the map and you're able to attach them to guns so that 
The idea is that you get the legendary that is actually useful and you can use and it, it fits your playstyle much better rather than just getting all these random weapons that you are never ever going to use. And then the unique weapons are things like your gamma gun, your your gauze rifle, your radio rifle, the, 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 the guns that kind of sit outside the normal kind of ballistics or energy weapons or melee weapons. And so, but they are very, very hard to find. They are extremely rare, or there is a whole series of different quests or steps that you have to go through to earn them, even a boss fight, maybe. I don't know. Um, but the unique weapons, you really, really have to work for very hard to get them. But if you do, they are super, super overpowered weapons. Uh, that you have and will give you a, a huge leg up. And so I think for me, that would, would just kind of fill that gap where you, you haven't got the, a ton of legendary weapons, so many legendary weapons that, that they really don't mean anything anymore. And the unique weapons are really, really worth having. And you have this whole thing, this whole system in between where you can customize the heck out of your favorite weapons in the game and get them to exactly where you want them to be. Now, the other thing that I thought would be kind of fun and, and we don't see too much in the game is weapon camos as well. Why are there not weapon camos in, or new looks or different looks of uh, options available in the game? The, uh, that I, I don't understand why you're not able to do that. I've seen it in a few mods that I've been using lately and these these aren't ridiculous camos. They're not, you know, they're they're quite subtle. But again, something else that would just add to this overall mix of the weapon weapon systems and making sure that you can marry up the weapons in the game with your own playstyle and get them exactly how you like. So there's a few more things that I want to talk about, and a lot, the, one of the last ones I want to talk about is the um, weapons workbench. Now, the weapons workbench, for the most part, is absolutely perfect for what it does and what it needs to do. The one thing I would like to add to the weapons bench is the ability to make ammunition and make any type of ammunition. And again, this could all be blueprint based it could be a thing on the skill tree i'm not sure what would trigger the ammunition it, may, it might be just the fact that you have the gun and therefore it opens up um, recipes for ammunition whatever but i'd like to see the ammunition and the building of ammunition built into the weapons bench in 76 they give you a completely a uh, separate bench for doing this and I just don't get why we need a separate bench for doing this. If it's a weapons bench and there is ammunition which is associated with weapons, why can't we have it all incorporated in one uh, workshop bench rather than have to have separate ones for all kinds of things. I'm not sure if that then extends to a uh, armor bench and just have one workbench rather than three but certainly with the weapons uh, workbench, it would make sense that there's an extra option for making ammunition for your guns. And obviously, again, it puts much more importance on you going out into the map and looting resources so that you can build ammunition. I love that in 76, and I think it is. it would be very, very uh, welcome in Fallout 5 as an additional thing that you can do with the weapons bench and it saves you time it just you can go to one place you get everything done where ammunition crafting upgrade your gun do whatever you need and off you go and the last thing i'd like to uh, leave you with the last thought i'd like to leave you with do you want the standard weapons swap options that we see in fallout 3 fallout new vegas and fallout 4 or would you prefer the weapon wheel that we see in Fallout 76? What is your preference there? For me personally, I like the Fallout 4 model um, where I can just use my D-pad to choose my weapon. But um, again, 
Other games do this very differently, and I'd like the ability to swap between my last two weapons, the one I've got in my hand and not the last one I used. And um, that's about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. A lot to talk about on weapons, a lot of ideas that I've put forward. Love to hear what you think about those. Love to hear what you're personally thinking about the weapons system for Fallout 5. And any ideas that you like to share, I would be more than happy to read and uh, consider because I can tell you this series so far there have been some tremendous ideas put forward and ideas that I never even thought of so thank you so so much for being a wonderful community and participating in this series and contributing so much it really does make me enthusiastic to continue to make these videos thanks for watching we'll catch you next time see ya